Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 12 of my R Studio tutorials here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and furthermore, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible so every subscription counts. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the 95% confidence interval. It's a really, really short topic. So this video will only be about three minutes or so, and I will show you how you guys can get to the 95% confidence interval in R and how you can interpret that. Well, first of all, we're going to install two packages. I assume that you have installed them already. If you don't know how to install a package, then rewatch episode number one of my R tutorials. So we press library and then tidy verse, control enter to run it and then library and pl also plot tricks and then control enter to run them. So you run the packages tidyverse and plot tricks. We run tidyverse because the data set we'll be using today is called view is called Star Wars. So we type in Star Wars and then control enter to view it. And we can see that it's a data set of all Star Wars characters with their height, their mass, their mass, hair color, skin color, etc. But we want to make a 95% confidence interval of the height variable. So how are we going to do that? First of all, we're going to attach the Star Wars data set. We're going to attach Star Wars. So from now on, R knows that we're talking about the Star Wars data set. So you don't, need to, you don't need to write down Star Wars every single time. Well, the easiest way to get to a 95% confidence interval is by going to a t-test. So you write t.test. And then the variable we want to take a look at is called height. And then you press Ctrl Enter. And then if you go to the bottom, you can see that the 95% confidence interval is between 166 centimeters and 182 centimeters. And the mean is exactly in the middle, which is 174. So what exactly does this mean? Well, you have done a research, you have done, a, you've made a survey and you've got this mean, which is 174. But if you would do the survey another time with different respondents, then the mean would be slightly different. And if you would take, if you would do a thousand surveys, so a thousand researches, then the mean would be a slightly different every single time. But with the 95% confidence interval, you can be 95% sure that the true mean, so the actual mean of the complete population, lies between those two values. So between 166 and 182. So that's how, what the 95% confidence interval uh, shows. You can also calculate it manually because if you uh, write std dot error and then for the height variable and then comma and then na dot rm is true. So you want the standard error. You want to know the standard error for height and you want the non available. So the missing values to be removed is true. So you want to remove all the missing values and then you run this code. And then you see in the bottom that the standard error is 3.863. Well, if you take the mean, so 174, and do plus two times the standard error and minus two times the standard error, then you also get to this 95% interval. So that's how you can calculate it manually. So this is how you can get to the 95% confidence interval in R and how you can interpret that. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. Please help me out. And for now, guys, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Ciao.